Well, it is day two of the International Champions Cup. The fans getting another chance to see some of their favourite clubs from Europe and beyond. A real party atmosphere, dare I say it, a carnival of an atmosphere. Further evidence of the increasing popularity of the beautiful game in countries where previously it wasn't thought possible. The clubs really are putting in a, a massive effort too with fan interaction, a big theme in the time between matches. And the players, I'm glad to report, seem thoroughly to be enjoying their newfound widespread fame as well. Certainly this is a very, very impressive venue, quite a sight to behold. So the pivotal day, we should know which way this competition is going by the end of it. Yeah, Peter, and as previously mentioned, hopefully football will be the biggest winner here. It's a tournament that I think it's fair to say doesn't demand the heights of competitiveness. Well, fitness plays an important part and, and the chance to introduce emerging talent. But it all adds up to a tremendously popular event. And you only have to listen to the noise in this stadium. And that's a foul. Three kicks been given. It's not taking him long. And that's going to be a good kick. given it and it's some boy Copenhagen have opted to really stretch the game now yeah, that's pretty evident but what's their thinking um, I, it looks as if the opposition are happy to defend the width of the 18 yard box trying to remove that compact. He's gone for it! Great ball to play him in, but he will be gutted to miss that. He was so quick off the mark there, read the ball beautifully. If only he could have found a half-decent finish. He's on his way. Oh, great defending. That needed doing. Brings it forward. Dashing forward at pace. Crunching tackle. He's caught him there. It's a free kick. into some space foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area Doy locks it in gently, and the ball is out of play. Forward it goes. Got options out wide. He's got away. Has a shot. Well, even for him, that may have been a touch ambitious. And it's the whistle for half time. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. 
what do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has been created for them. I think the service has been extremely poor. The goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. And we are already promptly back on the way. Tight old game so far. Can that change now? Plays it out to the wing. Dan and Doy. Corner it is then. And the referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. Time for a change in personnel. the worry or two a more than decent attempt Peter out to the left it goes Dick one in that's offside yes it is just it seems but just as enough. This defence is, is weary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight? Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Over to the left. Who's getting there? No breakthrough and well into the second period. It is still anyone's game. And the finish! Lingered over it and the chance to counter had gone. Well, the whole idea of a good breakaway is to leave the opposition struggling to get back, and they were just too slow. Well, it seems as though someone has been forced to pull up lame here. Yeah, and I hope for his sake that it's it's cramped, meaning it'll be a quicker fix. He's better continue, it seems, albeit a little gingerly. Just stood firm. And now they can launch a counter. It's on a... Is it in? Good first touch and almost as good a second. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. And there's going to be another change here. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded, and as a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb.
of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. The changes then in quick succession. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Christian, that's a foul. And it's Boylison. Real chance! That's a pop! Goal! FC Copenhagen! Dying minutes! And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Yeah, tempted and teased the keeper into thinking he could get to it, but it just eased the way to catch the inside of the post. So all square with almost no time remaining. And there goes the final whistle. A very good game of football. No winner, but both sets of fans have got their money's worth. Fine entertainment. It ends all square. Well, the biggest compliment I can pay them, Peter, is that they didn't look as if they'd gone down to ten men.